Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Simple Biz 360 podcast. My name is Jeff Mason. I'm your host, and we are coming to you from beautiful St. Louis, Missouri, Half Coast Studio. So if you live in St. Louis, you're looking for a place to, to record your podcast or uh, a song, uh, get in touch with Matt Parker or Alex Dietrich here at Half Coast Studios. They'll be glad to help you. So we're in episode 175. We started this great adventure October 2019, and we're in the middle of what we call a three business tips in five-minute series. So we're really not going to lay out three business tips today. We're going to ask an overarching question and then dive into three points about that question to kind of just leave you with some thoughts. We, we call this, you see the little uh, canvas behind me if you're watching this, you know, something to think about, right? So let's just think about this. Experts. What about, what about experts? And what about the overarching question? Are we strivers or are we arrivers? So let's take a look at this whole notion of experts. You know, we've been conditioned as a society for many decades now to just um, listen to what's we're being told and kind of follow along and believe it and digest it and run with it that the fact that, hey, this expert on TV, this expert on the radio, this expert on a podcast said this or the other thing. And now we're going to take that to the bank and we're going to say, yeah, we're going to follow that. And, and, and guys, in business, we're a microcosm of society. So the business operators, in many cases, mimic that. And the, the actual customer base as well has been conditioned to this. And so, you know, we, we have this culture now that is really saying, oh, yeah, if you say you're an expert, I, I very rarely challenge that. Let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll take it to the bank. And just think about some of the things we hear sometimes. Just, you know, you hear it in the background. You don't even think about it. Hey, two Tune into Channel 4 News every morning. You're so busy, let us do the thinking for you. We'll tell you what you need to think about. We'll tell you what the news of the day is. And so, you know, we, we, that's the culture we live in. So, you know, are experts really experts? That's the first thing. So let's take a look at what, you know, what would even get us near to being an expert? Well, Anders Ericsson did a study uh, over in Europe uh, in a, in a, uh, wanted to take a look at elite pianists, I believe, or violinists, excuse me, elite violinists and compare them to, you know, basically um, a good or moderate um, violinist. And what they really found in this study, and I'm paraphrasing it, cutting it down to, to a very short form, is that, you know, those elite people had to have at least 10,000 hours devoted to their mastery. And it was that level that they really realized the elite began to blossom. So as we as we transfer that, you know, study and that finding over to business, you know, in many cases, it's the same way, right? If, if and, and or sports, look at sports. If you look at these great three, three point shooters in basketball, I mean, these people have over 10,000 hours in the gym. I guarantee you, you know, Carly Lloyd, I, I loved, you know, great um, um, woman soccer player for the U S national team, uh, world cup champion a couple times. You know, she uh, said that, you know, you could find her sometimes if I remember the story, right. You could find her on a cold winter night in the dark shooting, you know, direct kicks into a goal mouth in Delran, New Jersey, where she grew up. And I mean, if you think about this, these people had way more than 10,000 hours devoted to this. So I guess my, my question is, you know, does that 10,000 hours equip you to become an expert? Well, it gets you closer, I think. But I just disagree with the whole notion of expert because expert the term implies that you've arrived. And so that's my ultimate question today. Are we strivers or are we arrivers? Meaning, are we constantly waking up, looking at each business day as a creative experience, embracing new knowledge and saying, hey, I've got things to learn today, whether it's from an associate, a customer, or you know, just the day itself. I've got a lot to learn. Or, or do we wake up and say, you know what? I've done this, I've achieved this, and whether I'm, I'm you know, 6,500 hours into it or I'm 75,000 hours into it, I've arrived, man. I am now an expert. So, you know, I, I don't know. Just I feel like that attitude is one that says um, I, I'm done learning in a lot of ways, whereas a striver says, you know what? I'm involved in active learning. So I just want to leave you with that today. You know, um, who are you listening to? Who are you looking to for advice? How do you, how are you projecting yourself? Are you a striver or 
Are you an arriver? So we're going to dip back to a great Lost in a Shuffle tune, 11th album, Allman Brothers, Love It, written by Dickie Betts, um, back where it all began. So I think it's uh, back where it all begins is by uh, Dickie Betts. It's a great tune. Love it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And guys, we'll, we'll see you in 168 hours. Thanks. <laughs> 